Now, what is this about? Navani, mm-hmm. the Alexia, or some his name that died is. in um that died in Russia. in Russia. This is the man that opposed Putin. I think he ran against him. Didn't he run against him, Ma? Uh, the guy who died in Russia. The guy who died in Russia. Didn't he run against Putin or something? Yeah, he was going to or he did or something. Anyway, anybody that opposes Putin, you know, they get the x nay x nay out of him. <laughs> and that's Trump's best friend. Mm-hmm. You know, that's his, his boyfriend. Yep. And, you know, his mega people love Trump, too. They love Trump. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm Putin. Putin. They love Putin. So it says that the body of the jailed Russian opposition figure, Alexei Navalny, or Navalny, I'm probably saying it wrong, mm-hmm. should be handed over to his family immediately. They fighting to try to get his body. Mm-hmm. You they, know he's not going to. They don't care. That Putin don't care about That's that. Sad. That's um, sad. This was Saturday they said that. It accused the Russian officials of lying in order to delay the process. The 47-year-old fierce critic of Russian President Vladimir Putin died on Friday after he felt unwell mm-hmm. on a walk at his prison and fell unconscious according to Russian prison service. Well, just like Donald Trump's ex-wife, who fell down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump's ex-wife and writing prob- a book. And, and they probably didn't do an um, autopsy. autopsy. Writing a book about him. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, we can't find the manuscript, but she falls down the stairs. Okay. <laughs> so, of course, that's his friend. <laughs> you know what? With him and even in Russia... I'm surprised that they didn't take his life earlier. News of his death sparked outrage with some Western leaders blaming Black, uh, Putin. Right. In the first confirmation, um, they said that he died. They said his mother had been notified um, that he was the N-word, oft. Mm-hmm. His death occurred on February 16th, um, local time, 217, according to the official message of his mom. He d- we demand to have his body sent to us right. immediately, but that didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Um, the exact location remains unclear of where he was. They're not going to give them details when there's a lot of um, uh, undercover things that's happened to him. He probably was poisoned. Something. We don't know. Something. Allegedly something not right. But all of this, so people was wondering... What do the leaders have to say about this? Mm -hmm. You know, Biden is saying he's upset about it. He blames Putin, of course, Mm -hmm. because, you know, he's not a friend of Putin. Right. Well, that doesn't ring the same with um, Trump. With Trump say, because that's his friend. Right. Not this guy. No, no. His friend Putin. uh, Putin. He ain't going to blame Putin. Well, Trump, Trump managed to take this whole man's death, number one, and blamed him for it. Said if he wouldn't have went up against Putin, he wouldn't be dead. Well, he's right. Number two, He's right. he took this man and somehow death yeah. made it about him. Yeah. That's why when you said selling things on the lawn of the White House, you're right. It's about him. He would have his own tents His own there. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Trump compares his legal troubles to the prosecution of this Alexi guy. Despite prompts from the host, the former U.S. president did not mention Putin when he was asked about this guy in his Fox News town hall. And it cracked me up when they have these interviews with him in these town halls. Even his friend, his um, lover, Giant Head Hannity, he tries to get him to say stuff and he don't get it. He be clueless. Uh-huh. And Hannity tries to get Trump to say something in his message and he doesn't. he don't know what he's saying. Same with this one. He had a town hall meeting uh-huh. and they're trying to get him to say something about this guy. Uh-huh. About that guy, they keep saying you're attached to Putin. Say something negative about Putin. Oh, okay. He couldn't get it. He's not. Donald Trump. He don't feel that way. Don, I, it's in my heart. I love him so Why much. Why wouldn't say anything negative about Putin? And he, he's, under, he's in the impression that um, anybody that's a leader, you shouldn't dog them out no matter how bad you feel about them. Don't be vocal about yeah, it. Yeah, but Putin don't have no problem dogging him out. He don't care. You know he he's like, he's in love with Putin. Like, he, I love you so much. Be Please be with me. And Putin is like, oh, I don't want okay. you. But you're connected to a, a, a big giant country. 
I got to entertain you for goodness sakes. Yeah. He's like a nuisance to Putin. Yeah, maybe. That's how it seems like. New when Putin talks about him, he's like a nuisance. Because Putin would probably respect him if he was in his right mind, even with the whole idea of being a dictator t person. And he don't like Biden either. Nobody likes Biden. Well, he can. He said Biden is predictable, though. But Biden is weak. He is predictable. Yeah. I know what Biden's going to do. I know his moves. He doesn't call Trump weak. He just says he's unhinged. He's unhinged. He said he, he's unpredictable. I don't know one day, what day. And then, too... Putin can know something about his mental state. That's true. So he breaks into records. He knows everything. Yeah. Uh, he's crazy. So he probably said he has the same problem I got. Mm. Donald Trump has used an interview with Fox News to compare his own legal troubles to the prosecution of the Russian opposition figure, Alexei, who died in prison last week. In an interview on Tuesday, the former U.S. president said that Alexei was a very brave man who probably should not have returned to Russia but did not assign the blame to his lover, <laughs> uh, Putin. He did not assign the um, blame to Russian opposition leader. Mm -hmm. President Joe Biden and other Western leaders have formed, went out and said it's, it's Vladimir Putin. Um, Nikki Haley said it, who trails far behind Trump mm -hmm. on the poll. So it don't matter what she say, I guess. Mm -hmm. In an hour long appearance on broadcast Fox News, Trump railed against the $355 million um, uh, thing against him, verdict against him, saying it's a form of what happened to Alexei. It's a form of communism, mm -hmm. he added. Despite prompts from the host, Laura Ingram, Trump did not mention Putin when asked about Alexei. Mm -hmm. He was a very brave guy because he went back. He could have stayed away and frankly, probably would have been a lot better off staying away, talking from outside the country. Now, you can't deny he's right. He's Why right did he that. go back to Russia? Why did he go back? Was Did he go back because he felt if he does die, it'll be a martyr? Yeah. And he would still shine the light on the issues that are happening in Russia. So he's saying- So he gave his life for hopefully Right. So he's saying he compares himself to him. He knew he was going to be attacked going and running for president. Mm -hmm. So he's taking the heat. Mm -hmm. He's taking it all in. Mm -hmm. He knows that he might end up being a martyr, mm -hmm. but he's staying here and he's fighting for righteousness. Mm -hmm. He's saying he's the same as the guy. And and if you think about it on the other side of that, yes. Wow. He does. He is mirroring. This man that unfortunately his life's passed away. So then if he's taking, he's getting the heat, the lies, they coming at, they're doing a witch hunt. <laughs> they coming at me. And you know, I'm, I'm, it's for you guys. I'm doing this for y'all. Make America great. No, Come you're doing on. it because you want to make another billions, billions of dollars when you get into the but White he's House. He's going to be a narcissist. He's going to find those little things that do resemble the gentleman, unfortunately, Alexi. That did die. Isn't why did he go back though? I was asked. I would love, like, I Mama would love said, for his family to tell us why did he go back. Yeah, and now you got to fight for his body. Stupid. All right, so that no, was whatever it. cause you are fighting for, please believe. Yeah, you got to be really down for now, it. Now this one, I did. I think I did this one. Joy Reid. Um, you know, she talked. Where's my thing at? Gave her eye. She always gives um her input. But I think I was looking at the bottom here, the uh, mega people, their ideas. So let's go. Where is this at? Whether you agree with it or not, Vladimir Putin believes that Russia has a historic claim to parts of Western Ukraine. So our opinion would be to view it in that light as a sincere expression of what he thinks. We're paying for a war, a proxy war with Russia, when I've never seen Putin actually show in any detail his plans to invade Europe. No one has shown me that. So I don't believe the lies that I'm being told about this. Making people believe like Ukraine can win. No, Ukraine can't. Putin won't lose. Putin will not lose. He's not going to lose. You have to stack that into the reality if you're going to deal with this thing effectively to bring this war to an end. Now, Today, the Republicans' dear leader, Donald This is the part that I disagree with Democrats. And yeah. I actually agree with the Republicans. Mm -hmm. Guys, Putin is going to keep going mm -hmm. after Ukraine. 
because he believes that Ukraine belongs to them. Mm -hmm. And it did at one time, the history of it. Mm -hmm. What's the end game for America to keep sending money Mm -hmm. over there? I don't know. It should be a a cutoff time as far as how much money we're given, but they're they're still under the impression that the long-term possible goal for Putin is what happened with the the history of Czechoslovakia and all of those countries under communist, under Russia's regime. So they're thinking, I'm coming at Ukraine. Next it'll be Poland. Yes. Next and it, it'll be Germany. Now that's the we part don't know. We don't that's know. the part I disagree with the Republicans mm-hmm. and stupid Marjorie Taylor Green that you just heard. Mm-hmm. Well, I haven't heard Putin say he's gonna take over everything. You're a moron. Why would he tell you? Why would he go on television and say, I'm going to take over everything? You see how stupid she is? They're going by how he normally. But yes, he will. Yes, he will. He steps, he's stepping on Ukraine. I'm going to take Ukraine. And then every other country that at one time belong under us, Mm -hmm. I'm taking them too. I told my sister when I was over there in uh, Czech Republic. There are cities in Czech Republic that are Russian owned. They have an area that um, one of my friends, we went there before we went on our missions trip. That is all Russian influence. Yep. And they have a Russian whiskey yep. that they make there. You can't tell me as much involvement, as much territory they are in Czech Republic. Thank you. Russia. You don't think Poland... Boom, 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 get them. Yep. Czech Republic, boom, 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 get them. Come on, y'all. Slovakia, I talk to people when we go there. They don't like the history of their country being communist. A lot of them are still healing from communism and all of that. So, like you said, if it's in him to do that, as he still is president over Russia, he going to walk over every country. And then China. They looking at what Putin doing. And they going to do the same thing. We want Taiwan. We taking any land we that was ours at one time. Yeah. So, eh, I don't know. But do we still not give you money understand, to the Ukraine war? But I now do know. you understand? No, because there's no end game. Yeah. Now do you understand why I said, going forward, if you don't know God, yeah, you going to know him. Yes. Don't worry about it. Those people who keep making comments mm-hmm. about we could just be whatever we want. And that's why I told you 2024, God's snatching covers off of everybody, mm-hmm. everybody. and revealing everything because he's going to let people know, I need you to know who I am. Mm-hmm. Not giving awards out at churches, talking about every <laughs> weapon formed against me. Uh-huh. You want to see some real weapons formed against uh-huh. you from the devil? <laughs> oh, honey. You gonna see some real weapons formed against you. Because wow. a spiritual battle, the stuff you talking about, the devil's laughing. Mm-hmm. He's sitting there eating the apple, going, What weapon did I form against you her? Know what? <laughs> Why do people keep blaming me for stuff that they doing on their oh, own? They, they making that that yeah, they 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 stopped, they fell on their own. On the devil's sitting there going, sweetie pie, <laughs> when I form a weapon against you, you'll know about it. And you don't want to put on that whole armor of God when I come at you. The results of the judge with that case will let you know if that weapon that was formed is yeah. <laughs> prospering. No that weapon means you formed sat, they against sat me. you down for being the prosecutor. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Go ahead. You going to Belize and all kind of all over the world. No weapon formed against me. It's oh. going to prosper. But that's why I was saying on the other side of that, that's what she's thinking. Yeah, thank Trump. you. Trump is the weapon forming against her. He don't have to come at her, but he is. Yes, he's trying to not go to jail. Why am I on trial? Man, you done did a lot of crooked stuff, so I do get it. Now, 